Hey guys, welcome back to the channel today. This is Prep Texas. Uh, we got Doc with us here again today, and we're going to do a very requested video that we've been having called the Shotgunners Loadout. So this is what we put together for you guys uh, if you want to run a 12 gauge shotgun as your primary SHTF weapon. So to start with, we have just a regular like 72 hour bag with a little caddy on the front to hold some extra shells if you needed them. And our Israeli gas mask, of course, if you're using an SHTF loadout, it's probably bad enough to have one of those around. Comfortable footwear. Oh, Never yeah. Get comfortable footwear. So these are the uh, Merrill Hikers. These are a great pair of shoes. I wear these are my daily wear shoes right here. Yeah. I like the Glock 45 there. That's the 17. Ah, uh, okay. Gen 5. Heck yeah. Beautiful Ooh. piece of hardware. Got the Holosun 507C on there. Heck yeah. That's good. You can reach out and. Reach out and touch a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a gong out at the property and I can ding it pretty consistently at 100 yards with that little thing. Um, cargo pants. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, got a good pair of cargo pants. <laughs> <laughs> Important for extra shotgun shell storage. Stuff it full of shotgun shells. That was our point there. But we do have the bandolier uh, so you can carry extra ammo and reload quick. If you're going to carry a 12 gauge as a primary SHT, uh, SHTF weapon, I would recommend practicing reloading as often as possible. Thank you. So the neck knife we threw in here is the CRKT. Uh, minimalist Bowie. Minimalist Bowie. Yeah, I figured Bowie. if you're into shotguns, you'd like the close quarters kind of combat. And that guy right there, you know, if you get a little too close. And that's a slick really little piece. Definitely. Yeah, nice little knife. I love it. So on for the primaries here. So we have a couple options because, again, this channel is based about everyone being able to be prepared at your own budget. Mm -hmm. And um, we got a couple options for you here. So yeah, Doc's going to show here. us. This is my good trusty, man, I think this thing has like a 28-inch barrel. It's a Remington 870 Express. Retails just about 300 bucks. Um, you know, yes, yeah, some people may not have something like this. You might have a Mossberg 500, a Maverick 88. You know, all good choices. Shotguns in general, simple mechanisms. Even the lower end stuff, you know, you can find a pretty good deal, pretty reliable weapon out of it. Uh, if you have a little bit more, you get a nice little Mossberg Cruiser here. Uh, Raptor, bird's head grip, right? Yeah, the Raptor yeah. grip. That's the yeah, this place. laminate, this is composite. Um, I'd recommend either of these materials <clears throat> for SHTF. You can go with your, you know, granddaddy's old wood shotgun if you got, but I mean, you know, reality, I'd kind of like something I could, you know, get a little better, better grip on. That's pretty nice. I like that. That's nice and like short that a lot, but... You can move around <clears throat> indoors. I'm going to uh, put the brace kit on this coming up. And I, honestly, I want to get another barrel for this guy right here in a grip just for yeah. it's at the house, you know, and I'm not dragging it through the woods. They're quick, easy Shoot change, that guys. Birds. That's a good point is uh, you could keep oh, yeah. a short barrel with you and keep a long barrel with you. Mm -hmm. uh, one for hunting, one for defense, and they, they change out very quick and easy. Yeah, Mossberg, yeah, Mossberg. Um, their aftermarket is endless as well as the Remington 870. This thing mm -hmm. is, yeah, they're beautiful. E either guys. one, guys, it's your choice. If you grew up shooting Run semi-auto if you can, if you got it like that. Run <laughs> Remington if you like uh, Mossbergs, run Mossbergs. And yeah, if you have a semi-auto and you trust it, yeah. then run it. So we didn't have a Sega with a 50-round drum to show you guys today. Yeah, we don't have a Benelli M4 to yeah. throw in our load out, but... <laughs> Again, this is a average, everyday type guy prepping channel, and that's what we want to put together for you guys. Mm -hmm. So this is what we did. Do what you can with what you got. That's it. Well, if you like this kind of content, guys, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, a lot of you guys has, has have asked me to do a shotgunner's loadout, so uh, me and Doc decided to put one together for you tonight. Let me know in the comments what you think or what you would change, what you would put in your shotgunner's loadout. In the meantime, guys, stay prepped up. This is Prep Texas, signing off.